hold the phone. Hold the phone before the podcast starts. I want you to, to, to hold the phone in your I'm gonna hand. Hold, just I'm gonna just hold take it. your phone out. If you're driving, take both hands. Hold that phone tight. No, don't do that. That's not two hands on the wheel. Two please. hands on the wheel, two hands Ten on the two. phone. That's true. We're gonna need a there's a four Wait. hand situation. <laughs> what are they going I need two I need two on the wheel and two on the phone. And here's what you do. You want to help support the show, become part of this awesome community we are building. You go to spitballerspod.com, click become a spitwad. That way we listen to your questions first. We're going to give you pr- the priority that you deserve. You're going to help support our show. We're going to have a good time. And you get early access to every single episode we make. Go to spitballerspod.com. Become a spitwad today. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Beep boop, beep beep boop, ding dong. <laughs> beep boop, beep, beep boop, boop, beep. Oh. That's, that's how you go back to back after that sensational episode 100 scat. Go. <laughs> starting with that one. All right. Beep poop while we're starting over. <laughs> Episode one hundred and one, and actually, that was, a, that was a stinker. And I have I, that's my first stinker I, I, out of ever. Yeah, and you you can sit in it. It feels bad. <laughs> yeah, the rest of this episode, I hope you're tilted. Hey, listen, I want to well, say something start, here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is go actually ahead, go ahead. episode one hundred, guys. We did it. <laughs> Because somewhere along the way, people yeah, have pointed out to us that we skipped a number or something happened where there's like some missing episode. I don't know what happened, but we found out about it like 70 episodes ago. We were too pot committed. To, we were saying the episode. But as you know, look, last episode, it was a lie. We said it was 100. No, I don't, see, that, don't say that, Jason. The, the, <laughs> I'm just, the that means is, that scat I just dropped is on episode 100, and that's not acceptable. Is. The episode you're referring to, it was just too funny hazardous to the health of everyone i thought to myself what if a robot you know did the scat was to scat but But with low battery but it was just it just didn't have enough didn't i robot scat like a couple weeks ago maybe Mm. well not like that (laughs) not Not as good as that no 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 yeah, the, 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 boop, the boop was different than the yes. beep, and then I ended with a ding dong because that's what robots do. Robots All right. love ding dong. That was, it was it was a robot on a dying battery approaching your front door. Thank you, Mike, for seeing. I I, I the follow weeds. you now. Very avant garde of you. <laughs> yeah, I was highly uh, intelligent. <laughs> Would you rather liar liar? A very entertaining draft today on the show. It's going to be a lot of fun at Spitballers Pod on Twitter. Head over to spitballerspod.com, learn how you can become an official Spitwad, a supporter of the show, and you can contribute your ideas. If you want, you might even suggest some different scat ideas. Nobody's done that before. Wow. Mm. But clearly they're needed. I don't know how I would take uh, how I would take that advice if they said I want a I want a scat like uh, you're at a mountain range. What does that mean? I need a well, scat like yeah. a wolf eating a candy bar. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> and then just how at the end. You just wasted a great <laughs> scat Man. right in the middle of the episode. So uh, very excited to be with you. Let's start it off. Would you rather? David from Patreon says, would you rather choose someone else's already chewed gum every time that you had bad breath or have another person blow on you to cool you off every time you were hot. What? Gross what times is- gross is gross. Someone happening? else has already chewed gum. <sighs> now, what is, is it still minty? That well, yeah. Uh, I want to know what is the condition of this gum. Is this if it's it, already like, chewed, man? It doesn't have any flavor. We all well, but, know that it doesn't take much chew to get rid of the flavor. It's about the consistency, man. Like, am I? Am I restarting the the motor on this gum? Is it is it hard and dry, or is it like it's that matters? It's still yeah, yeah I know it's gross. If but you're it, not restarting the motor, that you're you're in. It does I seem mean, to matter to me. 
<laughs> is it gross if I say I don't mind if another person blows on me to cool me off every time I'm hot? Like that's no, it's right, not that's gross. Awesome. It's, it's interesting. It's inefficient. Yeah, no, but I don't have to do the work here, Andy. So it's actually rather efficient from my side. I do nothing and I get a little bit of extra air put on me. It's but like they've got to be pretty close. Yeah, and but pretty I can healthy. Them. And pretty healthy, that's true. <laughs> Don't need any y'all germs. Yeah. All right. Not I mean, that the yeah. gum is a good germ situation. <laughs> right, yes. Gosh. Oh, no. Oh, I, you know, I'm proud. One of my life accomplishments is having never um, been tempted to take gum off the bottom of a desk or a shoe and then eat it again. Mm. I've never done that. Really? Uh, no, never. And so I don't know what that would be like. I'm Sometimes imagining... you got to step out on the wing, man. <laughs> Do you? Do you no. really? No. I guess with the would this. you rather you have to here. I think I will take. Yeah, I guess I'll take the <laughs> one Jason did. Okay, so you have to think about this is how this is physically happening. This person is quite close. They are in yes. your personal bubble. Because they are, they can't be six feet away. They can't be three feet away. They are all up in your business, mm. blowing on you, and that is that is so does that, gross. Does, but can that build That's you real up? Bad. Can that can that build you up? Like it's like a you know you're. Can assistant. it build you up? I well, don't think care about, about like the an inflatable. Like, no, I no, not like an inflatable. <laughs> like like you're you're you know. You let's say you've got an assistant and their job is to, you know, they've got a little portable electric fan and and they, you know, they fan you off. Oh no, the fan's out of batteries, and I'm like, well, it looks like you got, you know, <laughs> give me give me your wind, and then I just give go me, about my business. Give me your wind. Give me your wind. That's and then I go about good. my business while this person has to blow on me to cool puff me down. Puff. You telling me that's not gonna make me feel pretty good? Like this person. I is, am telling you, it will not make you feel good at okay. all. Okay. Hmm. And I would uh, rather, I think I'd rather be like, have my shame. You know what? I'm not changing. involving another person. Yes. You're, you're just, I'm yeah, changing. Well. <laughs> no, because I figured out a loophole. I only have to chew that gum when I have bad breath. I'm brushing my teeth eight, Ooh. 10, 20 times mm. a day. I'm not going to have to chew this gum because my breath is not going sour. I'll buy the mouthwashes. Uh, I'm going to protect a, myself. That is a really good loophole you found. I mean, genuinely, if every hour you just rinse some Listerine, you're never having to chew another now, person's gum. I mean, technically, there is a loophole for the other one. You could just never be hot. But in your case, oh, that, there's no loophole. I Someone would be right here right now blowing on me <laughs> literally this second. I'm so hot. Oh, Mike, do you want to cast your final vote here? Oh, I'm taking the gum. All right. Big boss from Patreon. Oh, coming in from the big boss. Oh, all right. Oh, no, big, big boss. Ties are on big tight. Bows. Big all right, boss. Big boss. Bows. Big, big bows. Bows. Would you rather not be able to shower for a week, oh, no. but wear clean clothes each day, or have to wear the same clothes for a week, but you can shower daily? So you are mm. choosing the order in which you get dirty, mm. the yeah. way that you get dirty? So here's what I have learned from sometimes extra time at home. Um, when you don't shower the smells that can happen are surprising surprising mm -hmm. to yourself surprising to others and that happens in about two days seven days from now there ain't no clean clothes in the world <laughs> that are gonna make me smell okay is impossible not happening and on the flip side i have a pair of basketball shorts have you you've been wearing them every day you're, they, not, you're not they, washing them too often. They have been worn. I couldn't count the number. I could. I could not tell you the number of days that I have. No, I don't wear these 100 percent of the time. I'm, you know, I, I'm proud to be pantsless a lot. But um, <laughs> proud. But when, you, but when I do wear pants, you know, they're, they're the same pants. unwashed they're pants. pants. They're the same unwashed basketball shorts. Uh, I, so I don't really have a huge problem with the unwashed clothes because I don't wear clothes all that often. I've been wearing the same shorts for a very, very long time. <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's look, this is just my life now. So, I, I, and how many I times shower? will you guys wear a pair of jeans in normal life? Oh, without jeans? washing. Yeah, you got a pair of jeans. How how many times will you wear them before you? That's got to go in the washer. Uh, four, four, four times, six times, five times, somewhere around until there. Until I spill on them. 
<laughs> right until until they <laughs> until other people can tell how if, long it's been. If there's no stains on the denim, I'm letting it ride, baby. I, I mean, it's funny because I remember as a young man, I think like there I would are people never... that actually never wash their denim ever. Yeah, you're I think you're some talking people to do one that. right now. I mean. <laughs> I think some psychopaths out there. No, I used to when when I was a young man. I I didn't. I mean, I wouldn't wear Long time ago jeans. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't wear <laughs> jeans without washing. Like if I wore those yesterday, then those go in the dirty clothes, and you wash them, and then you can't wear them until they're clean. But my point is, but you've as, been known for having really smelly legs. Have I? Oh, <laughs> this is, I don't know. I this don't, is breaking oh, news no, for me. Oh no! Have Sorry, you guys been Jay. talking about this behind yeah. my back? Here comes old smelly legs again. Oh, oh man! That person that always cools you down told me that. Yeah, well, they would know. Um, yeah, so I mean, here, I dirty clothes. If I'm clean, are they really dirty? Yep. Well, this is the same argument as the towel. Which, going back to that, I have come to. Uh, this is uh, something on a former episode where you know is how often do you need to wash a towel or whatnot since we had that discussion towels are disgusting man towels are <laughs> so gross and they are never clean you get out of with your clean body and you wipe off you're getting dead skin cells coming off of you uh, because of the shower you're i mean that towel's filthy and i want everybody out there to know that when you reuse your towel you're disgusting uh, but I'll take the uh, I'll take the. But I'll wear uh, the same clothes every day. I'll wear the same clothes. Well, if I gotta pick one, <laughs> I'm I will be clean. I will have uh, dirty clothes. All right, all right, Mike. Which did you go with? I'm going showering. I'll just wear the same clothes every day. Yeah, I guess I have to go that way too. All right, and not showering for a week is meh. All right, Conrad from the website. Would you rather find the Holy Grail Ooh. or the Lost City of Atlantis? Ooh. Someone's going to need to remind me what the Lost City of Atlantis represents. What? Yeah, it's what? Just, isn't that just some like... It's under, just a city under the water somewhere, like, right? It was a city and now it's like underwater. underwater? But it, but the stories of Atlantis are it was a uh, a city of such technological advancement that like it would be comparable oh, or surpass us even today. Like, th that's hmm. the myth of yeah, why myth, Atlantis but, is so great. But now take what we know about electronics and technology and put that underwater <laughs> and then well, and then yes. recover it. How great is their technology? But what if you underwater? find it and they, they were so advanced that there was a there was some sort of bubble. So they're actually cool. They're just chilling and living under the ocean. I, I mean, that'd be, I, that'd be all right. But would I get uh, like to live forever? Because I'm pretty sure. <laughs> see, now you're isn't the Holy Grail? Uh, if yeah, you have well, yeah, that? that's yes. That's, that's the, I mean, it, we're we're playing out the the you know the mythology yeah. of of both things. So yeah, you would live to live forever with the Holy Grail. And doesn't it cure? Isn't it supposed to cure any like if you've my got back a problem? Would, my back pain would probably course, clear, yes. clear right if up. We're, if we're in Indiana Jones rules, you pull it, you pour it right on the uh, the bullet wound, and it goes yeah. away. Oh man! But it's all it's smoky. It hurts a lot. I'm, I'll right. take the pain, man. I'll take the pain for. <laughs> A long time. I'll take it for thousands of years because hmm. the cup of a carpenter. I mean, in theory, you live long enough to find Atlantis at some point. If you if you sip that cup, don't you got like endless generations? I don't think that's you how it works. Just no, keep no, searching. We're, we're in Indiana Jones rules here. If you, you've seen the night, like that guy couldn't lift his sword up without falling over. Oh, that's over. true. That's true. Your body still breaks down. You're alive. Dang it. But are Dang. you really alive? Dang it. That is Indiana Wait Jones a minute. rules. Are you telling me that that guy had been drinking from the cup? Yes. Yes, that, just, that cup didn't do very it much. It kept him alive for it, hundreds of years. Oh, but maybe Barely. he drank it first when he was already that old, Mike. Yeah. Maybe that was a last ditch sip. <laughs> like, I'm about to die. Oh, I found this cup. I thought this I'm was already be, old. What, what's what's the lost uh, civilization of gold? Like the the you, the, 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 the sea below. The, yes, okay. the uh I don't think it was Mayans, was it Incans? Yeah, Maybe. I think something like that. But like, I thought that you know, yeah, the city underwater technology doesn't excite me. Now, if it was a city of gold, <laughs> what if uh, under the water is a flying bike, a flying motorcycle, and you can get it to work now? So I'm either choosing live forever or die tomorrow. This is <laughs> those are my two choices there with my flying motorcycle. <laughs> I'm taking the cup of life. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what if underwater? There's a shark that had technology. <laughs> don't you want that? No. No, I don't. Oh, I'm going with the grail. 
I mean, but I think you have to go with the thought process of there are there's no there, there's no healing power, there's no eternal life from the cup, there's no tech. You just you You're found just finding a no, just a cup. No, well, I get but it, it, but it, it but still has archaeological yeah. importance. Like this is a cup it would Christ. be a big deal. Yeah, if if in a museum you could go see the Holy Grail, people yeah. would go to see it. The same way that if you found the city of Atlantis, people would be very interested in it. So if if you I, just you had to attach your name to the discovery of one, sure. which would you go with? I would still absolutely go with the Holy Grail. The city would be fun to explore. It's a big city. It's, it's a big just city. A cup, a just cup, a cup for an entire city, Jason. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, the meaning behind the the Holy okay. Grail All right. over. That's fair. Some place where it's like, okay, I found the city. They're not they're not doing tours. You know what I mean? It's like they're not taking the city out. Like if you find some cool thing at the bottom of the ocean, oh, we'll do. Tours. Is it really we'll that cool? It yeah, that's I don't know. a they good found the, Finding the Titanic was pretty cool. Yeah, you been there? You seen it? No, personally, no. I've seen it on video. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, you guys want to do some liar liar? Oh, oh my yes. favorite. Yes. This is always fun. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I am coming after you, Al Borland. You're not getting me this time, bud. I know. We, really, know. we need one where we just smash Al and put he, him in his place. He's really dominated us over the course of this segment. All right. Uh, so two of these are true. One is a lie. Yeah. Right? And, and this I'm going to see this right that, through it. This shouldn't it's be so that easy. hard. It so shouldn't easy. be that hard. And yet... I'm going to lay him out. over my lap, give him a spank in here with this liar, liar. <laughs> Let's go, Al. All right. Round one. If you stretch all the DNA coils in your body into a straight line, it would be twice the diameter mm. of our solar system. <sighs> okay. Okay. Right? So okay. Big, I, know it's, a, I know it's long. It's that's, long. That's very uh, long. Number two, the killer whale is a natural predator of the moose. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm, I buy it. I buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Willie. Al's not what? smart enough to make up one that crazy. Simple. Uh-huh. <laughs> and number three, according to a recent Gallup poll, 33% of Americans know their mailman by name. Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. And what's oh, tough I, take, about this I buy that. Is you, how do you th- like this? One, There's so a we lot a- of rural America out there. Yeah. And I've, I look. Like, I just I can't fathom it. We we had a friend of ours who posted recently that they were saying goodbye to their mailman, and yeah, wait, what? I don't. <laughs> I have no idea who brings me the mail. I it's maybe it's a robot. Maybe it's Andy's robot from the beginning of the show. Like, what? I, I I've could never tell known you. my mailman ever. I could not tell you if I have a mailman or a mailwoman. No idea. I mean, I've never seen them. I don't know when they come. Uh, when they or a male mail. moose. Or could a male, be a male could be a male moose, sure. which I don't know. is a natural and uh, prey of the killer whale. That's uh, a lot. That's like saying, look, there's three of us right here. Do, do any of us know no. our male person by name? Talking about old uh, Rudy? Yeah. Rudy? Rudy? Ow, Rudy? Ow, Ow. There's four of us. Do you know your male person by name? I do. Oh, no. What? No, <laughs> oh, you don't. No. That's a now, lie. That would only be 25%, but we all He's live in the same city. He's leaning into the liar, liar. I, look, I'm, I'm casting my official vote. I think the DNA one is the lie. That's my final answer. I think um, uh, the killer um, whale is a natural predator, and I think that 33% of Americans know their mailman because there are small towns all over this country. I am locked in. To the DNA, no way that's a lie. That's, that's, that's true. Oh, man. I am. <laughs> so I'm, I'm between the other two. Well, th- but here's the thing about the moose. Like, you trying to answer I think, both? <laughs> I think anything that goes near water where killer whales are, a killer whale is a natural predator of that animal. But are there killer whales up there where there's the moose? Oh, oh you, you're you a devious one. And, 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 and as soon as Andy said the rural areas, I'm like, oh, man, that's right. Like, 33%? All the- <sighs> Right. Oh, is, Gal- is Gallup man. doing a lot of polling and mailman uh, inquiries? <laughs> I, is that right. what they're doing know, these days? I know. I'm. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the Americans not knowing their mailman. Okay. By that's name. the lie. That's. I'm gonna okay. say that's the lie. Thirty three percent. Mike, which one are you doing? Oh. oh. Well, I, dang it, man! So one of us has to go three and zero against Al Borland, which well, means only I one would, way that can happen. 
No, that's you, not true. <laughs> You're saying to he's guarantee gotta, that but there's, there's only a one way to guarantee it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh. But I, you got to go with what's right, Mike, because that's the best way to go 3-0. Yeah, that, that was my <laughs> point. The, the only way to go 3-0 and is to get the correct yeah, answer on Yeah, you're not going to do it with the wrong one. I feel like he's trying to trick me with the, the post worker because of what happened on Facebook. All right, I'm going, I'm going whale. I'm locking it in. All right. way, it's not true. I think, I think the DNA one's going to be like the Earth, not the solar system. What do, you, what do you say, Al? Which one's right? Which one's wrong? Jason's right. Yes, eat it. The uh, eat the mailman it. was made up, and yes, it was inspired by our our friend's recent post. Oh, fantastic! Dang it. Oh, Dang so it. who's going three and zero? Oh? This guy. All right, well, got a ways it's to all go. up to you, man. Yep. Yes. All right, you two bow out. I'll take care of this <laughs> owl character. And okay, wait, no, no, no. Well, hold on. I, hold my on. goal is to beat Jason. Now that's all I care about. So, owl, were you trying to influence us, saying you know who delivers your mail? A hundred percent. I have no idea. Who yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this sneaky is, this is such a wow! What a segment. Well done. Now I Good know I can you. trust nothing out of his mouth during this segment. Round two: the term poetry was coined after the late Edgar Allan Poe. Prior to this, it was simply known as verse or prose. Oh. Well, that's very plausible. Okay, poetry. named after Al- John Plaus. Poetry. <laughs> All right. Um, the Amazon River is about four thousand four thousand miles long. There is not a single bridge across it. Ooh. All right. Okay. Okay. And then the third one, every Canadian is allowed to get a free Canadian flag from the government. However, if ordered today, current wait times (laughs) exceed 100 years. The specificity of that. I know, but he's fooled us with some of that before. I know. I know. He's really clever. I've I've got mine. I'm locking it in. Okay. Um, Let's hear it. The poetry thing, coined after Edgar Allan Poe, is there's no way he made that up. If he made that up, he's the most clever liar in the world. I just and so that, and then the specificity of the the current wait times exceeding a hundred years is so goofy. I'm going with the Amazon River about four thousand miles long, but it, but not having a bridge across it. I've seen. I mean, fictional tales what? where people. I've seen Dora the Explorer take a bridge over that Amazon. You've seen a cartoon version of the Amazon River. <laughs> live action. And that is the live basis action. of nope. this. Mm-mm, live action. <laughs> the Dora, Dora, uh, Dora the Explorer What's, movie. That's oh. funny because the one where I'm saying there's no way it's possibly true. It's the, the one about Edgar Allan Poe. There's, there's just no way they didn't coin the word poetry before I... Poe was writing. Oh, I'm going with Jason. Point. I'm going Amazon River. Verse and prose? Oh, no. Sure. I'm going Amazon River. Uh, Jason, are you locking in or are you changing? Because I, 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 I'm locking in, but I'm but worried what? about that. I'm worried that that Jeremy is a fantastic liar. And that he's we put already way he too is. much time. But he's put way too much time into this if he's come up with these other two. It's got to be the Amazon River. I'm sticking to my guns. I'm taking them down for the first yep. time ever. And Mike, you're going with the Edgar Allan Poe one? Yes. All right. Al? You're not going 3-0, and o, Jay. No! No! Mike got this one right. Yeah! Ah, oh. uh, yes! <laughs> We're do you back, have any, baby. Do you have any hot facts of the actual truth of that term, or did you, are you just a big liar altogether? Just a big liar. But All right. The, the term How did you come up is way with that? older than Edgar yes. Allan Poe. Did you, did you, okay, is this something where you went to, like, common myths and you found yeah. that? Yeah. This is, that is one you? that I had actually heard before. Yeah. Oh. That is so clever like, because Poe is like the late 1800s. Like yep. They've had to have had the word poetry way before then. I feel like Was poetry's got it. Does sound like a, I do feel like an idiot now. Yeah. <laughs> Round three: a group yes. of sea cucumbers is called a salad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Number two: the distance between the United States and Russia is about four kilometers or 2.5 mm. miles. I buy that. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Palin taught me that. mm Hmm. Number three, during hibernation, turtles breathe through their extremely vascular anus. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? I want that extremely. to be the lie more than anything in the world. <laughs> extremely so vascular. So Al has made that phrase up. That is during, so important to me. So you're telling me that 
that it's possible that while in deep <laughs> sleep, a turtle breathes through their super strong butt. That vascular, super vascular. Oh my gosh! And it's 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 not just a sphincter. Does that make it a venous? A venous that- vascular. Oh man, the distance between U- United States and Russia that's out. Like that. Yeah. That's that's true. And, and, unless it's like, oh, it's actually twenty five. No, he doesn't do that to us, though. He no, doesn't he doesn't. General- he doesn't no. do that. He never takes those cheap. He's shots. a noble liar. <laughs> but I know that Alaska comes really close. So so this is really about whether a group of sea cucumbers <sighs> I know is called answer. a salad. Uh, I am locking in the turtles. I am I'm extremely va- extremely vascular anus. Because here's the problem. How does that Do, even make turtles sense? Turtles don't hibernate. Wait. What? <laughs> like, what? I feel like I should be able to lean on Mike for some of this scientific stuff. I, I f- feel moderately confident that I've heard sea cucumbers a group is called a salad. Now, what is a sea cucumber? Is that, They're, is the, that an uh, animal? Is that a plant? Yes. Is that, well... It, like, I don't know what a sea cucumber is. I don't know if you is. classify it as an animal. It, is it just a cucumber it has to be in the sea? Animal, like it, it isn't eats. that what coral, like a type of coral? I don't know, but I, I, they, they move around and they eat things. Or they, they do? flop around in the ocean. Yeah. See, Mike's certain about the turtles, but doesn't know what a sea cucumber is, which is just no, I don't my know how to explain out. what it is. I, it's fine. You, you go your own way, man, but I'm locked in. Okay. Jason? I have disrespected uh, owl in his ability to lie i think i'm going to respect him for the first time in our long friendship and i'm going to say that he came up with the extremely vascular anus thinking that he wouldn't make that up as a lie it's too obvious so i am actually going with that i am mm. with you're my so i'm taking with, the turtles oh, yeah. Wait, so, so you're, you're not, two trying, are gonna you're not trying to split the tie huh no we're i'm we're, useless i just want to win right i'll just go see cucumbers I think that one's a lie. Al, what's right? You're on the board, Andy. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. no. It, so, no and I will not. never respect you again, Al. I give they you respect. Hibernate? Look what I get for it. They not do. Not only do they hibernate, Mike, they but have, they've got an extremely vascular anus. That's what Mike was surprised about. Like, <laughs> yes. No way. Oh. They hibernate. <laughs> I think the surprising part was that they breathe through their extremely vascular <laughs> anus. Okay, well, I feel like we all learned something, but only got one right each. Oh, so my goodness. Al Did we stays... really only get one right each? Yeah. Is, yeah. Al's undefeated at this game. He's Man, so, I hate that guy. I hate him. He can't hear us right now, right? <laughs> no, he's not. He's he's not on video, so he's, he's doing, not really here. He's doing laps around his block. Celebrating? Ignoring his post man who he doesn't know. Yeah. All right, Liar. let's draft. <laughs> The Spitballers Draft. All right. Where did we get this idea, Al? Did this come in from a spitwad or was this from your lying brain? <laughs> this came in from a spitwad. <laughs> All right. So we had <laughs> the idea to do. <laughs> I love that. Let's keep he, that cause, up. Because he's a liar. He's a liar. A big liar. And a scoundrel. He's got a vascular. <laughs> Anyways, <Yeah. laughs> uh, we are drafting the. You could say it however you want. Figure, write it up how you want, Al. But we are each drafting four TV characters. It is a battle royale. Oh, battles on! But we are trying to draft a losing team. We are trying to draft the weakest team of TV characters that is most assuredly going to lose and get their booties whooped in this coliseum. All right. Now, let me so when you out. vote, you're voting for the best of. The worst. You're you're voting for the the, yes, the, worst. the worst. You're the voting worst. for the worst. But I was I was just thinking, if I were to draft all the best, you know, I'm gonna go get, you know, He Man or something. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many votes I get at the end for people not reading. Being confused for not yeah, reading. Yeah, they're just gonna look at the test. battle royale and and then I, I run away with the victory. Now there are a lot of the worst. There are a lot of bad TV characters. That in some ways I'd love to see get beat up in a coliseum mm-hmm. and i got the first pick and i i i'm sorry but this guy's doing me no favors this little one. <laughs> oh no i'm taking caillou yeah i knew it i knew it caillou is my mm. number one pick mm. because um 
worthless. I did not realize that cartoons were allowed in this draft. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, he, he doesn't even qualify cartoons, as yeah. a cartoon because he's that much of a loser. Um, so, he doesn't qualify as anything. Hmm, Caillou is being drafted yeah, if it's number like one overall because it's like not having to pick one person to help at all. Right. It's like I mean, picking nothing. The air. The only thing that guy does is lose. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's never done anything right in his life, so that's a strong one Can't even one-on-one. grow hair, so he can join my team. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. So Okay. All right. <laughs> this draft is not going the way I thought it was going to go. All right. Well, well, Jason, uh, you're on the... Uh, no, no, no. This goes to no, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Mike's on the... Mike's up. Well, I, I will... Dang it. I will try to compete here. <laughs> Jason, you all right? Well, no. I just really hate that my hatred for Caillou is for so universal with the rest now. of the world yeah <laughs> you know i deserve to have i deserve to have caillou all right so would like, that have been your one-on-one jason oh 100 percent, 100 percent. caillou okay. was the one-on-one are yeah. cartoon animals allowed i'm trying no. to figure out the rules no. here it's just human just humans people. People. okay fictional right. people okay i will take uh speaking of guy who <laughs> this draft feels kind of mean yeah, this uh, is going to be a real mean draft. Uh, what a uh, bunch of losers. I'll take Brian Ketron. <laughs> but just a uh, loser where uh, this show currently has three seasons, and two of the seasons were based off of this guy just basically being completely helpless, and I will take Will from Stranger Things. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. That kid. The I worst, mean, man. Take care of yourself. Worst. Seriously. So grow up Stranger already. Thing. I, that's a good pick. That is a. Re- it was not on my list. He's that not going to help really... you in that fight. No. We, oh, oh, no. No he's, way. He's going to help because he's going to go sit and cry in the corner. He's immediately trapped <laughs> Caillou, by the other Caillou team. <laughs> lo- well, he loves Caillou. The thing Caillou. about Caillou is like he'll at least be... Uh, I don't think Caillou will understand what's happening. And he'll just... like At least he, he could be a distraction for your mm. your team. Like, I think that he has the benefit of doing that, that someone's going to go after him. Meanwhile, Will is just not going to be in the fight <laughs> at all. So He'll be hiding. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Ooh, all right. So this is this is tough. Um, All right. I've got my two picks. I feel like I'm forced into one of these because you've both gone with a kid. And, <laughs> you know. <laughs> my bad. No. I was hoping. So, all right, so I, feel like, I feel like I've got to go at least one kid to just make sure I don't have too much strength on my team um and so i i'm the only other cartoon uh animated character i had on my list i'm gonna take because this guy knows how to die and it's kenny from mm. south park at the end of everything mm. he's always he's always dead so like this he's is, always dead but then he is always back jason you just took a character i just need to lose the die. battle i just immortal. need to lose an the immortal battle. child and but the- you can't lose he can't die <laughs> he dies so often and he will die at the end of this fight and then and the then other one, I'm, uh, well, right, for the next so, fight, which he will lose. Um, and then I will take um, uh, Toby Flinderson from uh, The Office. <laughs> Toby yes. is. Yes, uh, Toby's okay. the worst. That guy's, that guy's the worst. I'm okay. with Mike oh. Scott. Toby is, he deserves to be in this fight. He deserves to get beat up. <laughs> uh, Toby will do your taxes and lose in this fight. Oh, my gosh. That's a good one. All right, back to Mike. Oh, back. I am up. Okay. Uh, I feel like there is a trend of you just, well, not a trip, but the, the Toby one, like, are you, is he really useless or is he just, you took him because you want to see him in a fight? That, I see, think there both. is that line there where are they actually useless or are you just wanting to see someone beat up? <laughs> I, well, I, I believe that Toby would have no skills in that all fight right. at all. And who he wouldn't love to see him you. beat up? He could surprise me. He could. I mean, uh, maybe Will could surprise me too. Because what's the no? Uh, no, Will's not surprised. He's gotten out of every bad situation with because monsters. everyone had to save him. Yeah, what's the Anchorman character him? that ends up killing someone with a trident? Brick. Brick. So Brick he Tomlin. seemed like somebody you would have yeah. picked, and then you get in a fight, and he, he yeah, yeah, and all of a sudden somebody. he's he's the savage. <laughs> yeah, he's the alpha. <laughs> maybe Toby is a savage. <laughs> all right, so you've got uh, Kenny and Toby. Mike has Will from Stranger Things. The I last the, thing we want to do is win this fight, Mike. And you I, need to I know, make and I pick. have the pick that I want to go oh, with, but shoot. now, but but now I got to play the the game of the draft because there are some people who I think have some strong name recognition here. 
J- Jason is, but Jason, there's my, no way we're thinking of the same person as you. Yeah, it probably too many isn't. But, but my 101, I I just looked at my list and I forgot the person that I I would have dra- if I had the first pick, I would have gone Caillou. And if that was ruled illegal because of animation, then it would have been this other person who is still on the board. I can't believe I didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm very excited for the draft to get back to you. I have a so I have a couple characters, big name value, very annoying characters in their respective shows. And this one, I mean, he's he's supposed to be annoying, and this is I'm I'm sorry, nerds, I'm among you, but I'm stereotyping him as this guy's fragile. I will take Screech Powers. Oh yeah, from he's Saved on my by list. the Bell. For sure, thought he was gonna get back to me. That was oh, my number yeah. two. Oh, I played the game correctly. You then. did play the game correctly. So yes. Screech, no, that's a great pick. I mean, look, you are looking at these, not necessarily with, I mean, with many of them, maybe you want to see them beaten up. <laughs> but in, but others, they might say, hey, I'm with you, and they just aren't helpful. Yeah, They're just he, not going to get the job done. If he was in the fight and trying his best, I think he would get seriously hurt. So uh, that's that's a solid. That's a that, solid. I mean, pick. that's the hope. I mean, I'm hoping he's not building like robots and doing making cool weapons. Now, I I uh, I want to say this. Unlike Caillou, I like this next draft pick a lot, but he's not going to be helping my team win a battle mm. because his name is Fred Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm oh. picking Mister Rogers. That's with a the good second one. pick, he is uh, not on my list. Because he is an that is old so man, good. That is and so he is uh, a passive old man. Dang it, that's a he good one. Is. <laughs> and no, Mike, the rumors, the old Snopesable rumors about him being in the war are false. Mm, okay, that's what I was. Which is a hundred percent what you are looking for, I'm sure. But no, he is uh, a very. So he was not. He was not in the army. No, he was not. He was not. So uh, uh, mm. that is a common misconception of Mr. Rogers. All right. He is just a nice man who plays the piano and would get I'm, his butt I'm, whooped I'm, in I mean, a battle royale. Unfortunately yeah, for you, that rumor exists out there because somehow it was, it was in the there, recess of my mind. Like, there are going to be military? people who think that, yes. I'll bet he was. Right. I'll bet he was. I'll bet he, he, was. he most certainly was, Jason. Uh, he's, you he are correct. definitely was. He's uh, oh, stop a war it. He's a he's a stop it. I, Mr. He was Rogers. probably a seal. Uh, he will put he is his most aggressive move in his life was playing row 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 your boat too hard on the piano. That's I've seen him with, with his birds. bloody bloody hands bloody after hand. ripping someone's throat out. That's right. Uh, He's, we you know is Fred, this my own blood? <laughs> Fred Rogers, we thank you for your service uh, to this oh, great country. Stop it! Stop uh, but it. I've also I've seen videos of him straight up flipping off kids like, and you've seen it too. Oh come you can, on! You can Google that. It's a real thing. This is you guys are turning on him. Well, I mean, Fred Rogers is savage, or rather man. turning He's, him into something else. <laughs> Mister Rogers. Behind okay. the scenes, was I have a another pick. Yeah. I have another pick. Um, <laughs> I don't know which one to go with, though. I'm so terrified of picking the wrong one. Um, oh, I really am. I have other characters that I want to see beaten up, and that's the honest truth. I want to see them beaten up. Um, there's no way this guy's helping me. I'm taking Ross Geller. <laughs> I'm oh, taking oh, Ross. He's, he was taking when I was thinking about friends. the two. When I said there's there's a couple guys with, with real name power who were the worst on their show, it was Screech and Ross. Mm-hmm. See, the yeah. worst. Ross is, Ross is gonna Ross is gonna beat some of these guys up though. Like ah. I I totally get that you want to see him beaten up, and he was annoying and the worst on. He's a his- slap fighter at best. Oh one oh one thousand percent. Not and a, with he, this, this is not a closed fist man. And with this no. group. He's going to be able to succeed with a lot of slaps. <laughs> it's not going right. to take. What's your super pick, Jay? He's not up It's yet. not to me. Oh, I nice know. try. I know he you wasn't. Can't, no, you can't. You can't bait the pick. You got to let that happen. All right. I, I'm went to, I'm going very polar opposite from my pick of Will from Stranger Things. Uh, I will go from young to very old, very <laughs> fragile. Oh, no. I will take, I will take Larry David. From Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh. Because that man does not know how to fight, and he's going down immediately. I uh, wonder what he would do, though. He's so aggressive. He is. No, oh, no, he is, he's he's not. With like, his vocals, he, I mean. He's just, yes. like, he will yell a lot. That might scare Caillou right away. Oh, he will scare Caillou. But when Caillou it comes to any run. physicality, he is terrified. Okay. Well, let uh, me ask you if he's terrified of this character who you scared me 
was going to go off the board. Look, there are three great options here. Um, and I don't know the specifics of the show well enough to really pick the right one. So I'm going with the actress I know, but I'm taking Rose from the Golden Girls <laughs> because <laughs> Betty White out there in a fight is, I that's, mean, that's you. I don't think you want to do that, man. Oh, you telling me that I put an you you just drafted Larry Larry David could play the game of chicken with Betty White on the shoulders running around having a good time. I Betty, don't know. Betty White man. is still kicking, though. Yeah, Betty Betty White is a beast. So she probably doesn't. She's a lot like Kenny. She she's won't the die. opposite of Kenny. She's a, she, <laughs> she'll never die. <laughs> Kenny is not immortal. Kenny dies every episode. It is. It is so fictitious. you're going with, a, just to be clear, a Golden Girls reference here. Yes, I'm going with Golden Girls. I mean, I could have gone All Blanche, right. but I feel like Blanche had a okay. real nasty so just, streak. Just so, you, just so we're aware, you were really, did you just name another Golden Girl? Yes. Okay, we don't know any of them first. Yeah, I Second don't know. Second of all, you just really, really, really hoped a Golden Girl came back to you in the third round. Absolutely. Is that right? There, there was, there was okay. part of my strategy before this draft that I thought <laughs> maybe I could just draft, draft all three and I'm going in with the Golden Girls. Um, you know, similar to maybe Mike taking all the Ninja Turtles. All right, so I have another pick here. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Ooh, all right. Um, hmm. There are some characters that remind me of Screech, but I think could put on a whooping to oh, most of this I, group. Yeah, do, do not, uh, don't draft that guy. Yeah. I, I feel like there's something sneaky yeah, inside absolutely. of that man. Absolutely. Well, we've already seen his alter ego yes, uh, be successful, exactly. so I, I'm I'm not going that route. I think I'm going to go old school like like Andy, and I'm taking Gilligan. Gilligan from <laughs> Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Scrawny, a buffoon, never does anything right. I feel like... Uh, That's a little too new compared to Golden Girls, though, right? <laughs> right. I'm going classic here, but... There's a problem for you, Jason. You We did a, a superpower draft, and you were insistent... That luck is a top notch superpower. One hundred. You want to know who you want to know who has the superpower of luck? The guy that got that stranded on an island is is, is and uh, his superpower is luck. He wasn't the captain. He didn't steer the boat into the disaster. I, but if he just was lucks into things, he just lucks into being on the boat that crashes. You what both a, have strong points here. What a lucky dude. All right, back to Mike with his final <sighs> pick. Mike has Will from Stranger Things, Screech Powers from Say by the Bell, Larry David from many places, but curb your enthusiasm. And then one final pick here for the weakest team <sighs> in a big old battle. Man, I got, uh, I'm torn here between who I think would be the weakest and the, or just the character that you want to see punched. You just. <laughs> Oh, uh, I have a. We'll have to go through some of our yeah, picks that don't make it because there's some punchable names in there. <laughs> All right, and since we are uh, the, the old school television shows have have been alive in here, so I will take someone. I'm assuming, uh, like you know what they say about assuming, but I'm pretty sure he will not be able to fight. I will take Niles Crane. <laughs> From Frasier. <laughs> I like oh, it. Oh, man. I like it. I almost thought, I thought about Frasier himself, but Niles is way worse. Oh, Frasier could definitely handle himself. Frasier That, that man been. could handle fists. I but saw Niles, Niles no. Crane. <laughs> I, I, I saw Frasier on a couple of these lists as in like, uh, you know, most annoying. Oh, or what? And, well, no, no, no. But when I saw oh. it, I was like, oh, no, Frasier would be awesome. I didn't even think of that. And that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a solid pick there. All right, I've got Caillou, Mr. Rogers, Ross from Friends, and I'm going to close it out. There there are so many to choose from still. People I'd like to see punched, but this man, this man could not handle himself in a battle. And that's Richard Hendricks from Silicon oh, Valley. Yes. That was a oh, late addition that's a to great my pick. list. That is a great pick. Yeah, I have Richard seen- Hendricks would be very funny to watch get whooped. Yeah, he'll just puke. I've seen, yeah, yeah he'll puke. I've seen him kick through a door, though. All the way through Ooh. it. Was I mean, he puking the, mid mid kick? No, but that, yeah, maybe he's got some some strength that we don't know about. Well, compared yeah. to this group of characters, I think <laughs> the two strongest are clearly Ross uh, and uh, Mr. <laughs> Hendricks here. Well, my goal here is to be the first team eliminated, so Ross is key to that because I they're going to want to go run to my team and take care of him. But this will be you're very interesting. Win the draft with Caillou alone. I mean, oh, Caillou's on the possible. list. Possible, yeah. So yeah. I, I thought about, here's some, some other ones I thought about. 
thought about going with Joffrey from Game of Thrones. I had Tommen on my list. Joffrey, because, uh, Joffrey would be he's you'd want to kill cruel. Joffrey, but he might actually have like a, a that weapon. was the problem. And yeah. I thought and he's Tommen thirsty was weak. for blood. Yeah, Tom Tommen is weak. Thought thought about Kimmy Gibbler. She's on my oh, list. She's okay. absolutely on my list. I mean, new or old, both thought annoying. About- <laughs> Thought about Dawson from Dawson's Creek. Dawson, Dawson, I was because <laughs> of the I, meme. The meme. I went. I was almost taking him le- legitimately, and then yeah. I flipped to Niles at the last second. Okay, all right. Urkel I, was the aforementioned <laughs> yeah, character that's we, that. But I just hope like he doesn't Urkel go Stefan right in the middle of the yeah, battle. Urkel would get it done on. Yeah. So the, on my list, I also have, I have Ted from How I Met Your Mother, who's basically Ross. Okay, uh, I, have, I haven't seen that show. And then. I've I I just the, the name power wasn't strong enough, but Kim Bauer from Twenty Four, all she was good oh. at was getting into trouble and getting okay. captured. I remember like she that was, she was the worst of the That's worst. Good. That's good. Yeah, but and, uh, just, a lot of times in Twenty Four Hours, she could do that. Yes. Uh, uh, go ahead, Jay. Do, uh, do you? Was that all your list, Mike? I well, I also I had Michael Scott on the list. I thought, but I didn't want to go. I didn't want to double up with the Office characters. I feel like. If you were in a fight, yeah, he'd be useless. Michael Scott would think he could do it, but he would actually be a he would massive take, detriment. He would take the field first. He would immediately rush to the center as the champ and then die. So you're 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 right in that. Um, I've got Tom Haverford uh, from Parks and Rec. You could also mm, go with okay. Jerry, Larry, Gary, uh, <laughs> Jerry, yeah, J- Jerry. Those you could two go character. Jeremy Jam. As well. I I, I, oh. thought, I I thought about Jeremy Jam, but jammed. he's a killer, man. He would. Yeah, you got to respect him. You got jammed. And Al Boylan I also brought up Doug. Oh, okay. Oh, Doug's not doing well, a lot for baby. you, uh, uh, but he he, he might could beat up Caillou. A, was Tobias he, the Quail Quail Man? Yeah. Oh, that's Tobias. True. Okay. Tobias Fuque from uh, Arrested Development. He can be crying uh, in the corner. It's funny. Uh, I, I Ned Flanders. Raymond. No, Ned Flanders is ripped, man. Oh, that's you, you right. You haven't seen enough. Ooh, Simpsons. I'm glad I didn't make that mistake. No, I remember that. <laughs> what was shredded. the other one you just said, Mike? Raymond. From Everybody Loves Raymond. Dude, oh, yeah, that he wouldn't guy's be like able six, to. Six, no, six, isn't he? Yeah, but he he's not a fighter. Yeah, yeah but you got the range. I mean, how how's how are some of these little you, guys? No, no, you're trouble. thinking of Robert. I, yeah, not Robert's his brother. The big one. Ray is just Ray Romano. <laughs> Raymond. I feel like he's he's got to be six three or so, oh. right? We can find out. Uh, so Tobias, uh, George Costanza was on my list. I'm not a Oh, Seinfeld. no, he'll fight dirty. He'll yeah. fight dirty. Really? Okay. See, I didn't yeah. know the specifics there. Carlton yeah. from uh, Fresh Prince was was on the list. Uh, just Rory the- Gilmore. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Rory Gilmore from Gilmore Girls? Oh, gosh. I <laughs> well, there's a funny story about the, the Gilmore Girls. So it's, apparently it's a beloved show. And my wife had, has been convinced that she needs to like go through it now. Holy crap, that show was insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know which way you were going on that. Oh, man. The, why are they talking so fast? And they, they're ev- very witty. Everyone is the wittiest person. No one stammers over a single word. There's And they don't take any time to think of their retorts. It's just, oh, man. I, I can't, can't handle it, Mike. I can't handle it. It's not for me. <laughs> All right. What did we learn today? <laughs> I think we all know what we learned today, and yeah. it refers to a turtle. Yeah, that's what I learned Extremely vascular anos. That was... And, I mean, bro, uh, Jeremy is a great liar. Yes. Yeah, that, that's what I learned today is that Jeremy will go undefeated. Al Borland will be undefeated <sighs> for the for the future of, of Liar Liar. I can't I can't peg him down. And, and there's been so many of these segments. Next time. Next time. Yeah, next time. I'll get I'll get them next time. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. I got a scat better though. I learned that too. <laughs> mm. I, I it's been a while. I needed a Boop. bad one. I just needed to keep, keep you my hungry. edge. Keep me yeah. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com. 